In the beginning of the year, I had this idea to see how quickly I could get a scammer to give me his or her bank account information. It was sort of like the ultimate Uno reverse card, you know, like lying as a superpower used for good. And I started farming bank accounts. Jo is your manager? Sure, this is not a security department. Is John Morris available? How is that possible? Is John Morris available? John Morris, just give me a moment so I can announcement over there. So where is John Morris? Can you give me a moment? John Thanks. Morris, are you there? The idea was to tell scammers that I was outside of the bank and that yesterday the boss had told me to wire a ton of money, but I forgot the account information. Oh no. Thank you for being there on the line. You're talking to John. How are you doing today? Hey, John. I don't know if you remember me. This is this is Richard. Uh, you and I had a little bit of a issue a couple days ago where you had accidentally sent Mm -hmm. uh, too much money to me for that refund. Uh, I owe you, mm -hmm. I believe, uh, fifty five hundred dollars, and you would ask me to wire transfer to your account here in the states. But uh, when I when I went to the bank this afternoon, they had said uh, that the routing number you gave me was likely missing a digit. So I just, if you do you. I really want to give you that. Yeah, uh, can you? Uh, I remember, I remember, but uh, see, uh, there are a lot of uh, mishaps over here. Can you just okay. tell me how much money were you supposed to? I, uh, well, you were supposed to give me five, or sorry, six hundred dollars, I think, uh -huh. or five hundred. You were supposed and to give me five hundred dollars, and then you accidentally uh -huh. typed in, I think, five five zero zero. Uh, and so I owe you five thousand. Okay, so uh, you're supposed to uh, five thousand. You owe me five thousand. Yeah. All right. So uh, by any chance, by any like for the slightest. Yes, yes, I remember. You, you said that you were going to lose your job so if I didn't if get you it are... to you by the end of today, and I'm trying my yes, best correct. to do that. So I just need to know okay, the so account can you tell number me to send if... it to you. That's all. No, all well... right. So just give me a second so I can around arrange no. the account number for you so I can give it to you, right? Okay. Thank you. So are you going to do it like uh, via your telephone, like a telephonic transfer, or will it be you doing it physically? Physically, just like we talked about. You're going to do it physically. All right, perfect. Just, just give me one second, and I'll just be right back with my account manager's account okay. number, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, no, I need the routing and the account number. Thank you. Yes, I will be giving you all the information. Just right. give me one moment. Okay, thank you so much. And again, I'm sorry for everything that happened. We'll get this taken care of. I can totally understand. It's all right. Uh, I, I'm just more than obliged that you're actually trying to, you know, help me out over here. So most of the customers don't. So I'm like more than overwhelmed that you're Wait, trying most to help of your me customers out. I'm really don't? appreciating for whatever like, you're trying to do. So just give me most one of the second time this I arrange the account number for you, all right? Okay, yep. I'll be, I'll wait on the line. Perfect. All right. Like, Give me one. Most second. of the time that I accidentally transfer someone $5,000, they're not this nice to me. So thank All you. All right. So can you tell me, do you have a laptop or a computer at your place? Oh, uh, remember we had a little bit of a problem with it. So, uh, no, not right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> you do not right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Not, uh, not a problem. Just give me one second. Okay. Okay, so I'll be on the line with you. Okay, so uh, you need to uh, write down uh, the stuff, or do you want me to send you a text message with all the information? Uh, it's better. Uh, if this is your cell phone, I can last, surely last do Last time you gave it to me over the because, phone, I'd, I'd be more, let's just do that, okay? okay. Uh, I believe that if I send you over the text, it will be more convenient because it will no. be no mistake over there. It's not. There is not going to be any mistakes that you uh, type something wrong or you write something wrong. Can I give you my cell wrong. phone number then I'm gonna to send, you the, send the text? Okay, so the account number is ready. Uh, can you uh, write it down, please? Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, it starts good. with 13065. Wow, okay. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. 13065.
We manipulated a scammer into giving us a United States account that they were using in like 16, 17 minutes, which is pretty quick if you think about it. During another call, I was able to get an overseas account in about eight minutes, which is crazy. So then in my free time, I just started experimenting with different ways that we might be able to manipulate scammers into giving us this crucial information. And that turned into a couple weeks ago where I put $2 million in a fake bank account. And I used it to trick scammers into giving me 18 of their accounts that they were using to launder money or otherwise process payments with. Richard, you sing the song. No, he is you... not Richard. Don't speak with him. No, He's a liar. I, I, would, I would love He's to hear you sing it, Richard. I would love to hear you sing it. I want to speak with the bank manager. I I'm not even in the bank, the bank right now. I'm sitting in. I'm sitting in my car. We have the company account with us, ma'am. Okay, here's your here are your options. How do you, how I'm, I'm not. I'm. I. It's yeah. 45 minutes to my house. Well, I'm not driving that. back. I'm dealing with this now. Okay. I do not want to get in trouble. I do not want the okay, police called on me. Okay, give me a so e back. I'm walking into Just my bank in one minute, and I'm either transferring oh, it to on, the company on, account or Richard's account. Hold you on. decide. You're the manager. You make the choice. All right, and I sent you that details. You can see that. It turns out when scammers think you have a lot of money and you put a little pressure on them, they give you quite a bit of information. They were so convinced that I had money that they were practically begging and fighting to give me more accounts. And while 18 accounts is incredible, it got me thinking about everything that has happened even over the past year. There's something wrong. Hold on, let me try. I might have to turn it off no, and turn no, it back no, on no. again if it doesn't work right. No! Uh, no. Let me just close, let me try closing it. No! 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 no. no. That's Steve, the angriest scammer that I have ever called and i'm not even sure if i talked about it in the video but he gave us a bank account you are gonna lose everything you own wait a you second. will be on the road wait a second yeah you already have all of my money why am i giving you money why do you want ten thousand dollars because i have you given already you have that money. money i have given you that money my husband scout's honor will go to the bank and send sixty thousand dollars to you all right i am gonna write everything all the details yeah dude on this okay we'll take that bank account thanks now pal. Let, this is the main thing all right just type the name yep. account or holder address i got it all don't worry, honey. i got it all in order to convince him, we had to fake a uh, transfer. So I whipped out Photoshop and had to throw something together. Well, I used an old webcam I had lying around and told Steve that I took a picture of my email with my iPad and then sent it to him, which honestly doesn't even make sense, but he bought it. I want to talk to Paula. Paula, where is Paula? Uh, yeah, I would say things are pretty baller. I want to tell you that you have done a mistake okay oh a misclick no the account number the account number in which you were sending me the money is wrong i don't know if you caught it but i pretended to send fifty thousand dollars to the wrong account number and uh clearly he was upset um sir mr eric it's me john from the it department I made a mistake today. I was returning, I was refunding the money amount of $299.99, but behalf of 299, I had sent the amount of 2,999. I do know I made a mistake and I do yeah. apologize, but sir, no need to worry. A big, uh, it, 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 big the, mistake. Uh, he is, Make sure you tell him you made a huge mistake. Yes, yes. I, uh, tell him, customer, tell him it's a colossal is, mistake is and, and you, you deserve to lose your job. About a year ago, we called a scammer who seemed to be pretty new at his job. 2,999. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Uh, Holy shit. Again, I made a mistake. How, how could you do that? I'm not understanding. What should I do? Especially okay, after now, working there for three years want... now. Gosh, have you ever made a mistake like this before? Well, sir, I will I will be in a trouble, sir. Please don't do yeah, this with well, me, well, sir. You, please, please, I'm begging it to you, sir. Sir, sir I, I, I just don't know if I... <laughs> I don't know if all this adds up. 
I will be giving you all the information. So whatever you need, I will be giving it to you. First, the important, like sir, before my boss got to know, I must have to return the money onto my company's account. Just put on the password, sir. You know the rules, and so do I. Never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and about you. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna get a goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. We have known each other for so long. You have been achieving, but you are too shy to say it. And sadly, both knows what's been going on. We know the game and we are gonna play it. And if you ask me, I am feeling dumb. Don't tell me you are too blind to see. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie. Never hurt you. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. I'm done. Why? Wow. How have you? How have you not? How have you not already made billions? I don't. I I know because he's completely clueless and spent the better part of two hours trying desperately to transfer money to multiple of his bank accounts from a fake bank that literally doesn't exist. Thanks. I have to give our next guest an A for effort. He tried very hard. That you just have to go down to any of the government authorized store where you can be able to purchase a safety voucher okay, or electronic tax payment voucher. So in that way, once you get that safety voucher, you have to register that safety voucher to the U.S. Treasury Department. And after that, they are like they are going to uh, they are going to prepare a certified check for you. Once we are done with everything, then they will like they will the money will be bounced back to your bank account, or they are going to mail you uh, like a uh, like a safe. Uh, I mean, it's the, all right, the check, the certified check. They are going to give you a certified check for whatever amount you have uh, purchased for the safety voucher. Does this even make sense? Right. I mean, I know how this scam works, so I think I understand what he wants. But the things that Do are coming out me? of his mouth makes no sense, which coincidentally is how much money Officer Mike made after wasting over 10 hours and giving us six different bank accounts that uh, all your money that you have to register it to the u.s treasury department so your money that will be kept in the safety locker or I, a safety I totally account of the u.s treasury department yeah i'll tell my bank i'll have them why all of it over there you just get you just tell me where to go i'll why all that money right away okay okay so i'll be getting all the details okay all the details okay. where you have to wire the money so just give me uh, like five to ten minutes just don't hang up the call uh just stay with me okay this was over the course of multiple days he was so convinced that we had money i could tell this guy almost anything and he would believe me so we would say things like the bank flagged that last transaction so we're gonna need another account and he'd give it to me trying to Bend the will of the scammer who is afraid of giving me his bank account, but making him believe that I really am just a willful 80-year-old woman who's going to take matters into her own hands. And if he doesn't give me the account, he's going to lose out on all that money because I'm going to either take it out of my bank or put it somewhere else. Okay, right then here's now, what we're going to do. Like I'm taking matters into my own hands, mm -hmm. officer. I am not going to just sit here mm -hmm. while some man runs around mm -hmm. saying his name's Lewis Hampshire. Opening up all kinds of accounts, mm -hmm. taking cars, taking cocaine, okay. taking what? What has he got? What is he? What does he want? Three monitors, a dog cam, six cans sold, so whole nine yards. I'm not letting him do that in the my name, my good name, officer. I'm gonna call my bank sure. right now. I'm gonna withdraw all my money and put it in my. I'm gonna put it in my backyard. Did they told you that you can be able to get the receipt? Of course. I, they told me last time I could get a receipt. So just give me a couple of minutes. I will, I will let you know. Okay, just hold on.
Thank you, Epicenter, right. from the bottom of my heart. And, and thank you, boss, too, please. Thank you, boss, for saving okay. me. After all that time and effort, Mike wasn't left empty handed because he holds the record for the most bank accounts ever given to me by one scammer, which is six. So good job, Mike. You did it. Granny, Granny, it's your money. You should take it, right? No, if you don't take it, nobody will, right? The company will benefit from it. This scammer's name was Robin, and he was so convinced I was an old lady with a bunch of money that he played chess with me on a few different occasions. Oh god, this is a little bit complicated. This is a little bit complicated. So, I told them that I'm trying to transfer money to, to Bangkok, mm -hmm. and when they asked me, they asked mm -hmm. me why, I said, none of your bids wax, none of your bees wax, huh? None of their business, they don't need to know. Mm -hmm. And okay. they said that the problem, like, I could send the money, right? I can send yeah. the money, but it's yeah. going to take, Yeah, uh, it could take five to seven business days due to, uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 I guess they're watching, there's been a lot of fraudulent activity over the past couple of months. So, mm -hmm. can you please yeah. just give me, uh, he, he told me I could send money uh, domestically and it takes about 30 minutes mm -hmm. for the transfer to go through. So, do you have a, a okay. account here in the United States that I could, you know, send to Microsoft? That way, I could just send it in thirty minutes and, and not have to go through all of these hoops. Okay, hold on. Then let me check with with my team that you know, we can grab a, a local domestic account or not. Okay, okay? yeah, because they would just be like the, they told me it might be like the twenty third yep. or the twenty fifth by the time you actually get the money. Yeah, I'm writing all down. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Hey, uh, yeah. He's, can you see that? I'm writing it down. Uh, giving us a Chase Bank account. So. Nice. To me, it's like a prize being able to get, especially accounts here in the United States that these scammers are using. A lot of times they're actually stolen from victims and the bank fraud professionals that I work with are able to give them back or their business accounts that are actually in partnership with these scammers overseas, which obviously makes it a little bit easier for law enforcement here in the United States to take action on those accounts. I already snagged two accounts from Robin, but if I was going to get more, I needed to come up with some kind of way to convince him. And so the next day when he called, I went all in. They also told me, uh, just so you know, something to think about. Apparently, uh, transfers okay. over $5,000. Um, they they're not doing it uh -huh. same day anymore. So if you want all of the money right okay. now, I would basically need three accounts. Otherwise, I'd have to do, you know, $5,000, then $5,000, then $5,000. Yes, I just talked to my manager and they said it will take five minutes to give me the information, okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, do you want to call me back? Okay. Or... Can we play a chess game right now? I don't know. I think four accounts is checkmate, bud. Understand. Understand. So if they will ask you... I don't want if a they... hot dog. Can you hear me? I don't want a hot dog. I'm on the phone. Leave me alone. Go sell your hot dog somewhere else. That's what I'm trying to do over here. I'm selling hot dogs. Don't get all up. You don't get all up in my. Don't get all up here. You okay. You're invading no. my personal. I'm on the phone with a federal no. officer right now. You get away. You back away. No. Yeah. You better run. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. He gave me a bank account. Love, please listen to me. We we have unique ideas. We are younger. I'm we have unique ideas. Okay. Wait. So wait. 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 wait, wait. I'm willing to bet you $5,000 personally that my idea is better than yours. All right. I can go ahead and bet on to $5,000 that my idea, my idea is better. Now, let okay. me complete and listen to me. All right. Two bank accounts. Yes, ma'am. But uh, as I said to you, there is security and there is something required and there is a technician required. Do you see here? You do not have an ISP. The internet is broken. You're going to a site. Actually, the what? virus is keep, Sorry, what did you say? keep disturbing. I'm saying, just you can see what it's saying. It's saying, unable to connect. Whenever you're trying to open online, it is coming unable to connect. You do not have an ISP. Hi, Miss. I think you are just talking to Mike. To to you are having some kind of issue in your computer. My name is Suniti. I'm calling from Houston, Texas. And uh, my...
to talk to you because I think he, you need to, you want to ch- send some, some checks right yes. now because he's yes. with me yes. right now. Uh-huh. Anyway, and he said, you know, you, you don't want to give them card or anything. So you can mail the check. I can, or he can give you the address. He knows the address. Yeah, the address, or I honestly, I could just wire transfer the money if that's if you have an account. Oh my God! Just yeah, I do, I do. But for wire transfer, you know, like domestic, it costs twenty five dollars. That's fine. I'll pay the transfer fee. No, no problem at all. There's been a lot of goofy moments over the past year, but I still can hardly understand how we got two or three bank accounts from scammers who saw Windows Really Good Edition. Obviously, I didn't show you every single call and every single account that we obtained. Those are just a few of my favorite moments in the past year. And I don't want to sound too cheesy, but thank you. Thank you for all of the support that you give me. There are days where I sit down to stream these calls live and I have completely forgotten what my character's name is, how much money the scammers gave me yesterday, and just generally what's going on. And you guys are always there to have my back. A special shout out to the moderators and some of the volunteers who keep track of all these calls and even listen in live to help me write this information down so we can report it accurately. I'm excited and and humbled by all the work that we've been able to do over the past year, and I plan on beating my record this year in 2021. Thank you for watching, and I hope you know that you matter, that you are valuable, and you are appreciated. And if you thought this was cool, I I do have a little bit of bad news for you. Um, The AI that we've been developing over the past year officially beat my world record. Uh, It was able to obtain a bank account by itself in less than 18 minutes. So I, I might be out of a job. 